makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good, it's refreshing, and the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. So chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Millions enjoy it, and you will too. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia. The wonderful thing about America is all of the free things that they got here. They got a post office where you can fill up your fountain and pen for free. <laughs> then they got a free library where you can go in and take out a book and maybe read a magazine or just take a little nap. <laughs> it's a cost you nothing unless you snore, then they throw you out. <laughs> and also they got a free museum where you can go and see how the people was looked a thousand years ago. Mamma mia, I guess they didn't have much to eat. They all look like a bunch. <laughs> but then they got a free concert, and they got a free art galleries, and free lectures, and they even got a free hospitals where you're going to get a sick of nothing. <laughs> but to me, Mamma mia, the best thing they got in America is the free schools. And every night when I go to my night school, I feel so happy. I'm always a singer. America, I love you. You're like a papa to me. From the ocean to ocean. Mr. Arthur's coming today. Quiet, glass. How's all the roll? Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Howard? Here. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Schultz? I'm here and you're stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, fellow poopers. Remember, life is a battlefront and school is the zero hour. Mr. Schultz, we'll no. give you a chance to collect some zeros soon enough. Now, class, let's try to finish our lesson early today so that I can tell you about a little contest our principal, Mr. Orth, has planned for you. Well, uh, well what the kind of contest, Miss Baldy? Well, it makes absolutely no difference at all. If brains are required, I am sure to be the winner. Oh, yeah? Orson, I got $10 that says I win. Is that so? Put up or shut up. All right, I'll put up. Then I'll shut up. <laughs> oh, you stepped right into that one, Orson. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, enough of that. Let's get on with the civics lesson now. Mr. Basco, I hope you studied for today. Please tell us how many members are there in the president's cabinet. Nine. Good. That gets us off to a fine start. Mr. Horowitz, you may begin naming the title. With pleasure. The Secretary of State, the Secretary of the Treasury, the Secretary of Defense, the Secretary of the Interior, the Secretary of Labor. Himmel, never have so many secretaries sat on one lap. Oh. <laughs> please, please. All right, Mr. Schultz, Mr. Horowitz named five. You may finish naming the other four positions. Quarterback, fullback, halfback, and tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, are you going to break our nice record? Uh, no, we think I really did study today. Uh, where did the Horowitz leave off? Secretary of Labor. He said uh, Secretary of Interior? Yes. All right. Secretary of Exterior. Wrong. There is no such secretary. Not so loud, Miss Folding. If Congress hears about it, they'll go right out in the point one. <laughs> well, you did fair, Mr. Schultz. Uh, Mr. Olson, you may name the other four members of the cabinet. Uh, just their names? Uh, Miss Folding, wouldn't you want their states and their salaries? Sure, and while you're at it, also the height, weight, and birthmarks. <laughs> Just the positions, Mr. Olson. Uh, the remaining cabinet members include the Attorney General, the Postmaster General, the Secretary of Agriculture, and the Secretary of Commerce. Excellent. Let's keep it up. Mr. Basco, now you may tell us the name of the Secretary of State. Secretary of State? Hmm. Dean G. Uh, uh, his uh, last name reminds us of a railroad. Secretary Choo Choo? 
I told him he tried. At least he was on the right track. <laughs> Smile, everybody. Uh, Mr. Horowitz, tell him. Dean Acheson, Secretary of State. Of course. Now, Mr. Basco, see if you can't redeem yourself. Can you name the Secretary of the Treasury? Oh, sure. That's a, that's a Jan, Jan, Jan W. Snyder. Uh, go on. Secretary of Defense? Uh, that's uh, uh, Mr. Robert... Uh, Robert, I love it. Yes, excellent. You surprised me, Mr. Basco. <laughs> I'm surprising myself, Miss Collins. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Mr. Schultz, let me see if you can continue the good work. Secretary of Agriculture? Uh, uh, Charles F. Brennan? Are you sure? If I'm right, then I'm sure. <laughs> you were right. Uh, do you know the Secretary of the Interior, Mr. Schultz? Uh, the, the Oscar L. Chapman? Uh, yes. Ah, Miss Spaulding, next time take guilty or innocent right away before I get a, a heart attack. <laughs> One more for you, Mr. Schultz. Uh, please, Miss Spaulding, let's not push our luck too far. <laughs> Very well, you did fine, Mr. Schultz. Mr. Olson, you may name the remaining cabinet members for us. Attorney General J. Howard McGrath, uh, Postmaster General Jesse M. Donaldson, Secretary of Commerce Charles Sawyer, and... Uh, is there one still missing, Miss Bowling? Yes. They lock up the cabinet. Uh, call the FBI. There's a kidnapper in the house. <laughs> Come now, just one answer for a perfect record. Oh, Mr. Basco, you have your hand raised. Yeah. Well, a uh, uh, secretary of labor is a uh, is 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 a modest, uh, J. Tobin. Wonderful. I think that's the best showing we've all had in months. Hooray! Now, why don't we just take a bow, close the theater, and go home? No, 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 not yet, Mr. Schultz, because. Uh, Remember, Miss Bolling is, is going to tell us about the contest. Oh, yes. The title of our little essay contest is Three Words. Three Words? You mean that's, that's all that we've got to write? Well, even the radio contest allows you 25 words with three salt coupons. <laughs> well, let me finish, class. Uh, three Words is merely the title of the essay. Now, listen carefully, because I think our principal has an interesting idea. What are the three most important words in guiding your life? The three most important words... Guide them our life? Yes, you've all read articles like Seven Ways to Improve Yourself and Two Steps to Success. Now, we want all of you to try an inspirational essay. The three most important words in guiding your life. Hey, stop, stop. I know what it is. I once said two words that I would give a thousand dollars to buy back. Oh, really? What were those words, Mr. Schultz? I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I was only joking. <laughs> Miss Molly, you know, for me, it's, it's only one word. America. Well, that's an excellent thought, Mr. Basco, but we are not allowed proper names. Ah, too bad. That rules out my other three. What was that? Sure. Patty, Laverne, and Maxine. <laughs> well, last, you have until this Friday, at which time our principal, Mr. Orth, will come in and hear our essays and award the prize to the winner. A beautiful dictionary. Well, that's a fair exchange. Three words for three million words. I just thought of the three words, Miss Baldwin. Well, don't tell us, Mr. Schultz. And I thought of the voice that got to me. Don't, don't be too sure. Olsen never loses. Well, uh, well, 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 I don't know about that because uh, you all say it's easy, but but to me, I'm I'm a tend to think of, of no words. Oh, wonderful. I got one down and two to go. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Oh, hi, hi, hello, Pasquale. Hey, what are you reading, a little banana nose? A book. Uh, what kind? Well, it's a, it's a ten cent dictionary. Why? I'm going to find it three words. Three words for a dime? That's a sound like inflation. <laughs> What's to this uh, three word business, anyway, huh? Well, it, it, is it for a school contest? Uh, oh, school, school, school. Luigi, what do you expect to get from all this school stuff? Huh? Well, is, is, is it going to make me, me better citizen? I see, a better citizen, eh? That means instead of waiting for four years like everybody else, are you going to be allowed to vote for president once every year? No, no, it's not that. Is it just the means I'm going to understand more and more about America and, 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 and the history about ah, America? Ah, Luigi, Luigi. History is something what's a past and a forgotten, like the last two weeks of meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my boy, you want to be smart. You should have stopped reading the books or read the paper every day like I do. That's where you get a real education. Oh, yeah? Sure. Well, Pasquale, you tell me, who is the postmaster general? 
Who cares who's the postmaster general? I only buy the stamps from a private. <laughs> No, but sorry, that's not the answer. It's a Jesse Donaldson. I don't care if it's a Jesse James. <laughs> no one a junk like that ain't even going to buy you one pound of butter in the grocery store. Luigi, if you want a good example of success without education, just look at me. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a looking at Pascali. Hey, I never went to school one day in my life. I never read one book. And I bet I got a brain that's a second hand to nobody. <laughs> ah, Pasquale, you're so right. Hey, you got a real second hand of brain. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I say it, it's a come out of different. <laughs> Luigi, put down the book and listen to me. The minute you stop the school and start doing a man's work, I'm going to give you $5,000. Yeah, but Pasquale, what do you mean by man's work? <laughs> Marrying my daughter, Rosa. Uh, goodbye. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to collect my unemployment insurance. <laughs> that would be so iffy puppy. Now, look, Luigi, I tell you no, something. No, 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 Pasquale, Pasquale, please, please. I'm, I'm too busy now to argue with you. I'm, I'm going to find these three words by Friday. All right, so advertise in a loss to the foul. <laughs> what is this, a crazy three-word talk, anyway? Is a very important contest, to Pasquale. Huh? I'm gonna find the three most important words at the guide of my life. Words that I'm a believe in, and that means everything to me. Luigi, stop! But don't go no further. I got it already. Hey, you got it, Pasquale. What is it? What is the words, Pasquale? Money, marriage, and Rosa. <laughs> Pasquale, never mind. I'm going to find out to myself. How are you going to find out, Luigi? English language has got over 20 billion words, and they all are way the same. How you know what's the most important? Yeah, but, but Pasquale, somebody must have known. Oh, Luigi, stop acting like a maroon. <laughs> In America, the three biggest words is a money, moolah, and a mazuma. <laughs> Pasquale, Pasquale, you're wrong. You're wrong. I am, huh? Tell me one thing a money can't buy in America. Well, there's a lot. Of, well, there's a lot. Of yeah, things go ahead. Pasquale, go lots. ahead. And name, name a one thing. Well, uh, love. Today, there ain't a girl you couldn't marry if you had enough money. Position, Luigi, I guarantee you, if you had enough money, you could even become a millionaire. No, please, Pasquale. You, 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 you're, not, you're not helping me, Pasquale. You're not helping me at all because... But I never thought I'm going to have so much trouble finding the three little words. But there must be three words. And I'm, and I'm, I'm going to find them. All right, all right, a stubborn donkey. You go out and look for those three words until you get old and gray. And then when it's too late, the three words is going to find you. What's the three words? Rest in a peace. <laughs> Turn to life with Luigi, here's a way that you can get more enjoyment and satisfaction out of the things you do during the day. From time to time, chew a stick of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. You see, chewing on a good piece of gum just naturally helps you feel better and enjoy what you're doing. It helps relieve strain and tension, gives you a little lift, and makes things go smoother and pleasanter for you. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good, too. It has a lively, long-lasting, real spearmint flavor that freshens your taste and sweetens your breath. Enjoy it often at home, at work, wherever you are. Remember to get Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. What the word do you think is the three most important words in a guide in your life? I'm a wonder. I'm a have a lot of but I don't think I know enough. It is more smarter people than me in the books. So I thought I would look in them. In a drugstore kind of with a lot of books at 25 cents. Murder in a G flat. <laughs> How many sides are plays? So is a side of pursuit. And also in the middle was a book by Shakespeare, and I believe in me, Mamma Mia. 
poor as Shakespeare is a look of scared to death. <laughs> well, I found the nothing in there, and I was just going to go to the library when in is to come my friend Schultz. Luigi, my fellow poobles. Hello, Schultz. Hey, Schultz, are you finding the three words yet? Ach, did I? Luigi don't even bother to show up for the contest. That beautiful prize dictionary is practically holding up the broken leg of my sofa right now. <laughs> oh, Schultz, maybe, maybe it's funny to you, but... But I wish I could have found three, three, three good words. Ah, Luigi, don't worry. Just find three plain everyday words. You know, like love, honor, and obey. Win, place, and show. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, it is not so hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, it's hard. Uh, if I'm going to tell people how they live, they got to be most important words in life. Uh, but I'm, 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 I'm too small to get such a word. Well, if you ain't gonna get them, you ain't got no answer. Hey, wait. Hey, sure, sir. I'm gonna ask people and, and get ideas from them. Eh? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask lots of people and I'm gonna pick out what I'm hear the most. Is that what you're gonna do? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like the Gallops of Paul, only I'm gonna take the basketball pole. <laughs> a basketball pole? What's that, Italian basketball? <laughs> Come here, what? Why am I not taking this before the shoes? Sure, I'm gonna ask the American people right in the streets to watch the three most important words to them. Ah, that's good, Luigi. And smile. Be like me. Always happy. Always laughing. Ha 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 Ooh, ooh, my rheumatism is killing me. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this to fellow first. Excuse me, mister. Yeah? Uh, what's the most important words in English language? Beat it. That's only two words. <laughs> Excuse me, mister. Yeah? I'm, I'm taking a basketball. Please, what do you think is the three most important words in English language? Are you a reporter? No, no, I'm not going to report to you to nobody. Uh. What is this? I don't go for this sidewalk interview stuff. All right, but then we're talking together. Come on. <laughs> uh, look, I gotta get home. No, please, please, Mister. Just three words. Words that's gonna bring the people success. Okay, I'll give you three words that'll make your fortune. Who are the words? Rob a bank. <laughs> Well, here's the park. Maybe in there, the, 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 the people, they don't rush you so much. Maybe I'm going to get a better answer. Hey, there's a fellow, I think. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm going to see him before it. Excuse me, friend. Huh? <laughs> I, I, I'm taking a basketball polo, please. Maybe, ma maybe you're going to tell me most important words in English language. How many words? Three. <laughs> Three most important words, I deal dog food. <laughs> I deal a dog food. That's the three most important words in the language. If you're a dog, do you? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, mister, maybe he's a bigger joker to you, mister. Look, friend, if you've got some sad story and you're looking for a soft shoulder to lean on, count me up. <laughs> I cry too easy. <laughs> no, 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 please, please, you don't understand, mister. All I'm want is just the three words from you. Three most important words in your life. You mean it? Sure. Unattention? Yeah, sure. What are your three words? Mother, come home. <laughs> I never had no mother friend, except maybe when I was born. You know what it means to go through life without a mother? For a man. Every Mother's Day I send flowers to myself. <laughs> I'm very sorry for you, my friend. You got a mother? Yes, sir. Where is she? In his belly. I hope you don't go home for lunches. <laughs> You should go home to your mother, love her, cherish her. 
Like I said, it's a happen, it's a happen. Yeah, but please, Pasquale, don't bother me. Now, how can the people that act like that? Everybody's just so crazy. I told you, you get the brush off for people that they hate each other. Three words is a lot of baloney. Luigi, is it just the one word for you? One? Yes, and I called her in and out. Rosa! 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 Rosa, tell Luigi what's the three most important words in the English language. Breakfast, dinner, and supper. No, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Rosa, think of what you would like most of all. Think of the future. Now, tell Luigi the three most important words out there. Triplets. <laughs> well, Luigi, ain't that the thing you ever heard of? No, it was funny. You don't know you're making me crazy with your stupid talk and everything wow, that wow, you're wow. doing. Huh? Mama, may listen to me. I'm a hollering. Forgive me, Pascal. And I just said, forgive me. Forgive me? Forgive me? Mommy, I'm a goddess. I'm a goddess. Papa, what's he got? I don't know, Rosa, but I know it's not of you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, Mr. Schultz. Wouldn't you say so, Mr. Orr? Yes, fun, friendship, and happiness. These three words would certainly improve the world. Uh, also a lot of radio programs. <laughs> smile, everybody, smile. Uh, and give me the dictionary, Mr. Orr. Oh, please, Mr. Schultz, we haven't finished all the essays yet. And, Schultz, I don't think your words will beat mine. Liberty, equality, family. Those were excellent choices, Mr. Horowitz. Yes. Liberty, equality, family. And how? Ask any man but the family. He's dying for some liberty. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Olson, your essay, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, three words to guide you. One, knowledge. The beacon light illuminating man's movement. Two, ambition. Without ambition, there is no progress. Three, perseverance. Because nothing great is ever accomplished unless you constantly, over and over, keep putting your shoulder to the wheel and forever keep your nose to the grindstone. Sure, and in two years, we got no shoulders and no nose. <laughs> Please, Mr. Schultz. Excellent. Three capital words. Knowledge, ambition, perseverance. Do you suppose you can beat them, Mr. Basco? You've been very quiet, Mr. Basco. Well, I'm responding, and, and I had a Mr. Orton and, 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 and my class. My first word, I'm, I'm going to have to ask a lot of people advice. Maybe they was too busy thinking about other important things, the business, the troubles, or, or maybe, maybe just to themselves. Any, any word that was act bad, at least I'm a thinker, so. People, people, they, 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 they gotta have a time for, for the others. All the world is they gotta have a time for each other, or maybe we, we're gonna have a no world. That's why I'm a think of tolerance. This is no mean only tolerance for race and religion or the color. That's a mean of tolerance for grown ups to children, country for country, one to each other. And that's why I'm a give that word, and that's a bring me to my second word, which which we got to have forgiveness. 
I mean, suppose it's almost like a tolerance, but if there's enough forgiveness, then we all are going to be on each other's throats. And my third word is hope. Always I'm going to hope for better people, better world, and, and I'm not forgetting a better me. Well, there goes my dictionary. Well, there you have them, Mr. Orth. Are you ready with the decision? Yes. Who's the winner? There is no winner. Ah. You mean there's no dictionary? On the contrary, Miss Spaulding. Uh, here is the package. I have four dictionaries. You see, my essay contest can have no winner, for there are no three words that can best guide us in our lives. Many have been considered, and yours are equally good. Mr. Horowitz, your dictionary? Thank you. Mr. Schultz? Thanks. Mr. Olson? Thank you. And Mr. Basco, of your wonderful words, you fortified my belief that we must all think in positive terms. There are no set rules of life, no groups of words, no trick combinations. Rather, let us in our daily lives try to choose words like forgiveness, love, charity, tolerance, kindness, truth, patience, hope, peace, liberty. Let us shun the words that have brought destruction, envy, greed, hate, war, intolerance, anger, lies, deceit. And in this way, enrich our lives and the lives of our children. Well, thank you, thank, thank you so much, Mr. Arthur. You, you said so many beautiful things. Uh, and you, you had the wonderful idea. And I want to tell you, Mr. Arthur, I'm, I'm, I'm learned the lot. We sure did. Sure, that's true. True, true. And what about you, Mr. Shaw? Well, as long as I got my dictionary, I'm going to throw in another three words. <laughs> What's that, Mr. Shaw? Papo, Chico, and Gaucho. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm learned a lot from the essay contest today. And I wish you could see the beautiful new Webster dictionary I'm got for my prize. I'm sat and I read this dictionary for three hours tonight. And it was lots of good words. And I'm going to try to use it like I Mr. thought to say. But the one word that's a sound the most beautiful to me when I was a little boy, and now, and forever is Mamma Me. Your loving son, Luigi Basco, the little immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they want to remind you that it's a good idea to have a few packages of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum in your home at all times. Wrigley's Spearmint is a delicious taste treat that everyone can enjoy. Give it to children when they want something good between meals. It won't spoil their appetite. Enjoy Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often yourself and pass it around when friends drop in. They'll appreciate your thoughtfulness, and because they know that familiar package of Wrigley's Spearmint means real chewing enjoyment. They know, too, that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum freshens the taste and aids digestion. So next time you go to the store, get a few packages of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Your family will enjoy it, and your friends will, too. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco and Alan Reed as Pasquale, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olsen, Ed Max as the bum, and Herb Butterfield as Mr. Orr. The music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. This is Charles Lyon. This is CBS Radio Network. <laughs>